Hey guys, I thought I'd do a quick showing and maybe a little bit of review of the Pathfinder Pawns Bestiary 3 box. Uh, this box uh, from Paizo comes with over 300 monsters and creatures. I'm not going to actually open the box. All that's inside the box is the leftover cardboard. Uh, if you've seen my other videos, you know I store them in a binder and use these sticky tabs to keep them from falling out and stuff. Go look at those videos. Uh, but what comes inside is obviously the monsters and you get your bases. You get the huge, the large, and the medium. So if you've gotten bestiaries 1 and 2 box, and then you get this box, you're going to have uh, an army's worth of bases. So that's good news if you didn't have enough. Okay, I'm just going to move that out of the way. And show you some of the creatures. I'm starting off with the larger creatures because they'll show up a little better, I think, on the camera. But there's your troll. I'm not going to name all these things. Some of them... Um, would be hard for me to pronounce, but <clears throat> like if you can tell by some of the creatures, those are like multi-headed snake, and you know, this one looks like kind of a mix between an eel and a fish. There's lots of these creatures that are very general in use. Like you could use them for other creatures substitute substituted in. That's what I liked about the Bestiary 3 is that I'm going to zoom in on this one just because it's so wicked looking. I don't know if you can see that. But that is the Hungry Fog. And you can see the undead face in the fog but what you probably can't see is that all around and inside of the mouth are all these other little skeleton faces and undead looking creepy thing so just like the movie the fog kind of reminiscent of that um, but a lot of these creatures have multiple uses like that could even be uh, you know like a spell if uh, effect if you needed it to be uh, and these also introduce some more giants uh, golems like here and your eastern flavored dragons which is very nice and some more I think I skipped one here there's some more of your dragons there that's the Cyclops that's on the cover. So, and of course it goes to the uh, large sizes. And as you can see, I have mine. Let's see if I can zoom in there like a moss troll, but I have mine in the plastic. This one I thought, there's a, there is a particular module, you probably can't see because of the sticker, but I will take him out for you. There is a module where the last guy you fight looks sort of like this, and um, it's, it's not exact, but if you have that particular module, I'm not going to spoil it for those who haven't played it, but... If you're a GM and you've GM'd it, you'll know which module I'm talking about that the guy changes into. And um, you'll know that this would fit in perfectly for that creature. <laughs> so it's not the exact creature, but it looks so much like it that it's easily usable in that one. You just slide it back in and you're done. And here's what I was talking about um, for the usability. Like uh, creatures like this. You know, they're, they could be used as a statue because obviously he looks like he's made out of stone. 
He's not a statue. He's his own creature. But if you wanted to substitute for a large statue and just have him look like that, then it's usable in that way. There's a lot of creatures like that. And that's what's so nice about it. This, for example, could be used for a shambling mound. He's not a shambling mound. He's a Sargossum fiend. He looks like the old uh, swamp thing from the comic books, actually. But he, uh, you know, could substitute in for a shambling mound if he didn't have one. Lots of examples of that. So overall, for for the variety of creatures that you're getting, and for the the usefulness, Nephilim, Naga, um, for the overall usefulness, this Best Dairy Three has been a great great pick. <laughs> That is not a displacer beast that's copyrighted by Wizards of the Coast, but it sure does look like one. And uh, I think you're going to enjoy it if you have, if you're in the market, uh, if you're the type that actually likes pawns and uses pawns, you're definitely going to want to pick up this box. It's a great little value. Uh, you get lots of creatures, and what you know for the price, for the money you're looking, maybe a little over $30 ordered on you know unless you're out of country but uh, you can't go wrong getting over 300 pawns giving you nice overview that's like a gorilla with wings and a giant sword you know how cool is that just something to throw at your players even if you're making up your own games and campaigns there's a lot of inspiration in here plant giant drake water creatures you got a variety of, of different things then we go to the medium sizes which i'm not going to go through all the medium sizes but you get lots and lots of smalls you get different swarms in this which you can use uh, you get some plant creatures that are small in size and just lots lots of usable creatures snake swarms hell wasp swarms rock grub swarms so lots there to to use that you haven't had before and that's it guys uh, i re definitely recommend it i think you'll enjoy it you'll definitely get your use out of it That's it. All right, guys, good gaming.